Good morning. Day three of our trip. It's looking like a beautiful morning. Got a nice steady breeze coming in. This is the oatmeal of choice today. We got the blueberries and cream and the protein oatmeal unleashed chocolate chip. Blah. So that's freaking awesome. Got some water boiled already. Cool. Pumped water. I'll tell you what, I woke up today. If you haven't watched yesterday yesterday's video, go back and watch it. Dude, I'm feeling sore, man. Two, 250 plus rod forages yesterday. Covered eight miles. Oh yeah, my body is sore. What is a good sore, you know? So I'm gonna chow down on that protein oatmeal. And uh, you know, get the day started. Got an early start. Got out of bed at an hour later today, at around seven. But I think we could still get out of here and hit the water by nine. And uh, today's going to be a much easier day, not as strenuous of portages, so let's get it going. Got my tent all packed up and put away. Dad's working on getting his. And uh... Yeah, we're gonna be off. We're gonna be headed about nine miles north, straight north of here, pretty much. So if you can see here, we're at Oyster Lake. And we're going all the way through these chains of lakes, this creek, up into Pocket Lake up here. Boom. And they say there's a really nice campsite on the west shore over here. So one of these two campsites over here is what we're gonna be going for. A nice campsite on top of a rocky outcropping so we only got the biggest portage is only 120 rod rods first one is 75 rods not bad 85 rods again not bad 120 rods that's not even bad and that's the worst one then we hit a 35 rod up into from Gibeonaquet Lake to Gibeonaquet Creek. Hit the creek all the way up to Pocket Creek. Then we just got an 18 rodder to Pocket Lake. Yep, that should make for a fairly easy day. The most time consuming part of our trip is probably the portages. One, we double trip. And two, you know, it just takes us a while to portage and hike all our gear across. And so, in paddling, we do pretty well on time for that and since today is pretty much a paddle day we're gonna be doing a-okay and then we're gonna stay at pocket lake for on a full day after that so that'll be something to look forward to just gotta finish my tea over there pack up the hammocks you know grab some miscellaneous things like my swimming trunks and my towel over here and then we'll be off saying peace out to the number two campsite on our trip. This wasn't a bad site either. No. Pretty nice site. Couple iffy spots for canoe landings, but overall it's not a bad site. All right, camp is packed, canoe is loaded. You know what time it is. About to get back to it. Gotta say peace to the camp. Do one last check, make sure you didn't leave anything behind. All is good, all is great. Camp looks like we did not leave a trace. All right, let's get the pocket lake.
All right. First portage of the day. It's to Rocky Lake. Got a nice rocky landing to the Rocky Lake portage. <laughs> And boom, rocky lake, you can tell it's rocky, but it looks really pretty. See some cliffs off over there, some small palaces, some more over there. I think there's a campsite right there. How was that portage? Not too bad. Good deal. I'll tell you what though, why don't you dig me out three ibuprofens? That was graceful, huh? <laughs> oh. All right, Rocky Lake. Headed to Green Lake. Straight north. Boom, just like that, paddled across Rocky Lake. Another very rocky. Portage Landing, as you can see. Very beautiful lake, very secluded. There's only one campsite way down there. And then we got this portage up into here. Up into Green Lake. Another very secluded lake up in there. Just one campsite, one portage to get to it. And we're deep out here in the wilderness. So we're gonna unload the canoe and get it going. Boom! That's the portage from Rocky Lake to Green Lake. So that's Green Lake. Then we keep going north. Then we got the longest portage of the day, which is 120 rods. The portages go shorter, medium, longest for the first three, right? So the second one was probably like 10, 10 rods longer than the last one, the first one. Now the next one's gonna be 120 rods. And then after that, I think we got like a 35 rod carryover. So we're making it work. Gonna load up the canoe again and get across Green Lake. like that green lake has been paddled look at this freaking pine tree dude it's borderline sequoia Wow. Hold the first load across the portage. It's a very easy portage. It's the longest one of the day, 120 rods, but it's pretty much so flat the whole way. And 120 rods is nothing compared to what we did yesterday. Yeah, honestly, I think this is the easiest, deleting the length, I think this was the easiest portage of the day so far. I'm gonna go back and get the canoe. Get the second load across, and then we're gonna have a little lunch at the end of the portage here, and then continue our way up into Pocket Lake. How you doing? Not too bad. Good. You're almost there. Yeah, I know. I can see the lake. Other than being long, it's not really that bad of a portage. Not too much elevation change. No, yeah, I was just explaining that. That's like pretty much. It's pretty. I think it's the easiest portage that we had all day. Minus the length, you know? Yeah. 
Eating lunch right now. What you having for lunch today? Same thing. Just trail mix? Yep. And beef jerky. It's a good choice. Anyways, we got some weather rolling through right now. Looks like scattered rain clouds. All out in that way. Hopefully we luck out today and doesn't hit us too hard or too much. All right, after a little five minute rain delay, we are going to hope that this blue sky that's coming this way stays blue and we're gonna beeline it straight that way over to the creek. Just gotta get my rain gear off, get the rain gear off my pack. <laughs> Load up the canoe and get right to it. I mean, it's looking pretty, pretty good so far. I don't wanna say too much. Nice little rain shower for lunch. All right, porridges are pretty much so done for the day. We got two tiny ones left. So let's get right to it. All right, Gibeonaquet Lake, we're about here. Probably the biggest lake we've been on all day, besides Oyster Lake. But we never got to the big part of Oyster Lake. It's really pretty. What up, dude? <laughs> Woo! Gibeonaquet Lake. Got this 35 rod portage up into Gibeonaquet Creek. Cool little rapids, little waterfall deal going on in this portage from Gibeonaquet Lake to Gibeonaquet Creek. Technically, this is whoo, this is Gibeonaquet Creek right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me get a shower real quick. So beautiful. Freaking love it up here, man. Stuff's getting wet. <laughs> Feels good though. Oh, freaking scattered stuff. Just had a little scattered rain cloud come through again. Got some blue skies again. All right, let's hit the creeks up. We're creaking now. Oh yeah, really out here creaking. Got to take this all the way down till we find another creek, Pocket Creek. And hit that one all the way up to Pocket Lake. All right, leaving the Gibby on a quick creek. Now we got Pocket Creek. Pocket Creek runs that way to. East, east side of Lock Croix, and this way it goes to Pocket Lake. It's freaking cool out here, man. We're just creaking. Well, we had a lot of fun creaking. Now we are on the beautiful Pocket Lake. I don't think anyone else is on this lake. Pretty secluded back here. It's a freaking rock star campsite. Look at this. You got a freaking long ass rocky outcropping. Got the fire pit here. Pretty cool. Here's the pocket lake and a layover.
Looks like you can almost see through to another part of the lake. I have to look at the map. Kind of a clearing over there. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I just set up this hammock here. Freaking nice spot, eh? Tents right over there. But I was just chilling here for about five minutes after I set it up. And I saw a big old bass jump right there. I made eye contact with it. That's how, how much paying attention of that same spot he jumped at I was doing. So what I'm gonna do now is rig up my fishing rod cast a line and hopefully get a pre-swimming meal today because yesterday i struck out with the fishing not even a bite went for over an hour and it's like hmm, that sucks a lot especially being up in the north woods where fishing's usually pretty good it's like hmm, it's kind of sucks but we're gonna try it right now big old bass is right out there i'm gonna freaking catch it pocket lake Let's go. All right, well, apparently the fish are not hungry here at Pocket Lake. They're just fucking fine, dude. They don't wanna bite nothing. It's all good. Sun's still out, I'm gonna go for a swim. Still staying skinny, no pre-swimming no pre -swimming meal. Fuck, man. I gotta, I gotta get some protein back, man. That's two strikeouts on the fishing. Not not strike two. No. That's two fucking full strikeouts. Like, they're debating about kicking me off the fucking team by now. Yikes. Alright. I'm over it. I'm gonna go swim. So sick. Yeah, man, I freaking saw a large smallmouth bass jump like right where my finger is right now. I just like poop. I was looking out in the water and then just, hey, what's up? That's why I went fishing earlier. Cause I thought for sure I was gonna catch something, but <laughs> I didn't catch a damn thing. This guy looks freaking cool. You know, got dark storm clouds over there. Nice blue sky, scattered clouds. It's kind of how it's been all day. No, 
now it looks like it's raining a little bit again. We got that cloud straight up there. I started seeing raindrops. I gotta go collect firewood. Holy fuck, bud. Look at this ginormous anthill I just found. These fucking ants, man. Yo, what in the world? Take a look at this freaking moss right now. Oh my god. Say what? Dude, I would sleep on this. This is like a freaking mattress. Dude, that's so sick. Look at the close-up on this. Like, what are you, dude? Holy cow. Dude. Look at that freaking rainbow. That is so sick. Yes, sir. Bless up. Yo, this is so sick. Look at this, man. I should go take pictures with my big camera. Dude, it's like a double. Dude, it's like... Dude, I'm seeing green and purple after the red, white... Red, white... I'm seeing green and purple and another green and purple. After the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, it goes green... And purple again. That's freaking wild. What is going on? Ah, I'm gonna go get my other camera, take pictures of. Do I freaking love finding these dead treetops from dead fallen trees? Score for the fire. <laughs> Yo. All right, uh, I found another boomerang stick. See how it curves just like that? So it, and it's also got a handle. So if you throw it just right, it should go and come back to me right in a circle. Like it'll go and then right back to you right in this circle. All right, ready? Watch. Fuck, dude. Damn, yo. So that wraps up day three. We're out here at Pocket Lake, dude. Insane, right? Now it's just me and the moon and my hammock. And we're just chilling. Stars are out. Hey, day three's done, but tomorrow, guess what? We're staying here at Pocket Lake because it's awesome and dope. And this is a spot to be deep, deep in the wild. I swear, but tomorrow we're going to check out some really cool pictographs at a place called Warrior Hill, so you're not going to want to miss that, so stay on the lookout for the next video, because tomorrow it's going to be sick, stay awesome y'all, and hope you're all digging the videos, and uh, Stay on the lookout for the next one. Peace and love. Your life is a gift. Keep on giving. Yeah, I'm living. Happy as can be. I don't care what they say or see. I'm gonna be me. My best version you see. I will stand my own ground where I plant my own two feet.